Hey, this is Josh with Sprint Race Professional Education Team, here to give you some tips and tricks to get the best out of your 3D printing workflows. Today we will be discussing data capture tips for removable dentures. There are four main types of denture customer. Reference and copy denture customers will be arriving to the office with an existing denture, where we will be using the existing denture as a custom impression tray or scanning an exact copy of the denture to print a duplicate. For an immediate denture, a patient will be arriving with partial dentition requiring full extraction. A temporary healing denture will then be printed, which will then be used as a reference denture for the final appliance later. A new denture is for a patient arriving at dentulus that does not have an existing denture. A traditional impression is taken and a wax rim or similar is used to set the correct bite height. Then the occlusal plane and midline are marked, and then the impressions and wax rim are scanned like a conventional denture. Most intraoral scanning software will provide denture type selections to help guide you through the proper scanning stages for each denture type. Please review your software for the proper selection. The strategy used for movement during the scan process can have a large impact on accuracy. Please be aware of anatomical features and potential challenging areas before proceeding with the scanning steps. For the maxillary denture, follow the recommended scan strategy to ensure that the palate as well as the undercuts and ridge form are accurately captured. The lower denture will also have a particular scan strategy to ensure all data is captured from the undercuts and ridge form. For the copy denture workflow, we will be creating an exact copy of the existing denture. We will be taking a complete 360 degree scan of the existing denture, a scan of the opposing arch, as well as a bite scan exported in bite relation. Begin by reviewing the anatomical features of the denture, ensuring you are aware of any undercuts or anatomical features that may be challenging to scan. In this example, the upper denture will be scanned outside of the patient. Most scanners will have you start with an anatomical landmark such as the incisive papilla. This gives the scanner a reference point to work from and allow the data to be correctly aligned during the scan process. Work slowly to ensure that all data is captured such as undercuts and the occlusion. Next, we will scan the opposing arch, or in this example, a typodon is a stand-in for the patient. Then we will place the denture back in the patient's mouth and perform a bite scan and export in bite relation. A reference denture is an improved copy of an existing denture. In this workflow, we will be doing a 360 degree scan of a relined upper or lower denture and then scanning the opposing arch, doing a bite scan and then exporting in bite relation. Use the existing denture as a custom impression tray and take a functional impression of the patient's jaw. Then we will be following the same workflow steps as the copy denture. Perform the bite scan in the patient's mouth and export in bite relation. With an immediate denture for use as a temporary or healing appliance, pre-op scans of the patient's anatomy as well as a bite scan will be taken and exported in bite relation. These scans will then be used for virtual extraction and a healing appliance supplied. Perform an upper, lower, and bite scan of the patient and ensure that the files are exported in bite relation. Scan as much of the sulcus as possible for best fit. A new denture is for patients presenting a dentulist that do not have an existing denture. Upper and lower impressions will be performed and then scans of those impressions will be taken and then a physical bite record will be required for vertical bite dimensions using the provider's preferred method. We will then be taking a complete 360 degree scan of the wax rim and then a complete 360 degree scan of the opposing arch or wax rim as well. Those will then be exported in bite relation. For new dentures, there is no need to change your preferred clinical method for capturing the upper and lower impressions or the physical bite record you can use the method you are most comfortable with. In this example, we will be taking traditional impressions and then pouring plaster casts for the creation of the wax rim. 
In this example, we have created the wax rim for both the upper and lower arch, as this patient is completely edentulous. The wax rim ensures the correct vertical bite dimensions are maintained for the appliance. We will be using the same scanning strategy that we use for the copy and reference denture, starting with an anatomical landmark and working slowly, taking a complete 360 degree scan of the wax rim and ensuring proper alignment of the data. Use an articulator during the bite scan to ensure proper alignment of the jaw. Once you have finished capturing your data, you can then upload to SprintRay's cloud design. Thanks for joining us with today's tips and tricks.